I'll talk to you a bit about what sandwich construction is and what the benefits are. Uh, when you have a material and it's relatively thin, say like a piece of plywood for example, um, it will bend relatively easily. You can you know, bend it around shapes. The thicker something gets, the more stiff it gets and it's harder to bend. The more rigid it becomes, it's harder to bend. And this is why um, things can stretch and compress. Pretty much anything can be stretched to some extent and compressed. Okay, so like obviously a rubber band, you you know pull it, it will come back. But even other things. So when you have a material such as this piece of styrofoam you saw in the video yesterday, um, if I try to bend this, I won't be able to because it's so thick. Whereas you all know if this was 10 times thinner, it would just fold on itself. Um, what happens is, when I'm bending this, if, it, if I try to bend it this way, the top surface here will be getting stretched, whereas the bottom surface will be getting compressed in. So if, if I start doing that, if I try bending it, the top is stretching away and the bottom is being compressed inwards. So the further away the top and bottom surfaces are, the more rigid it becomes because when something's very thin, the difference between the amount of distance that each of them has to be stretched or compressed is very small. So it's easier to bend it. But when something is that thick, and you bend it even a little bit, the top will stretch heaps and the bottom will also compress a great deal. And um, quite a lot of materials just won't let you compress them or stretch them that much. So, the benefit of using um, sandwich construction, which is basically when you have one material on top, a core in the middle, and another material on the bottom, or the same material as the top and bottom. Um, the benefit of that is that the middle can be very light. It doesn't have to be something that's very heavy. So rather than getting a massive thick piece of wood, you could get maybe a 3 mil piece of plywood on top, a 3 mil piece sheet of plywood on the bottom, and say a big styrofoam sheet in the middle, a big thick one. Because that plywood won't be able to stretch or compress. So when you get... The, the most important thing is that you have that distance in between them. And that will make the whole sheet very rigid. Which is what I'm doing currently. I'll show you in a second um, more of what I'm planning to do here. Um, basically, when you're making things out of carbon fiber and you know, Kevlar or fiberglass or whatever it is like that, different materials, sometimes you don't want to just make a big, you, know, you don't want something to be flexible for example. Uh, you don't necessarily have to make it really thick because that's going to increase the weight a whole great deal. What you can do is use a core, whether it's styrofoam, which isn't very strong um, or that great, but you can use styrofoam or various other different foams um, to put in the middle that will, you know, they're okay, they have a bit of strength themselves, but their main feature is that they save a lot of weight whilst increasing the thickness of the material, which then increases the rigidity exponentially. Um, there's other ways of increasing the, shall we say, virtual thickness of something, but this is one of them. This here is two sheets of that same foam. That's just a sample of it. These are two sheets which are same thickness, five centimeters, and each one is 3.2 meters long with 85 centimeters wide. So when I put them next to each other, they'll be 170 centimeters wide by 320 centimeters long. I would have preferred one single piece of that size, but unfortunately they cannot make, make something that wide here, so um, this will have to do. And on each so once I've made this big top, obviously this isn't that flexible because it's it's very it's a very small piece. But if you extend this over 3.2 meters, it becomes it becomes rather flexible. I'm not going to show you now. Maybe perhaps in another video. But that those sheets will bend a fair bit. So um, by having the uh, I, what, did, what did I get MDF board by having the MDF board on each the top and the bottom of that. 
it should increase the stiffness incredibly. So um, I should be doing that in a day or two, and uh, stay tuned for that to see the results.